And you can update the TIG to 38 colon 15, and then you go to load. And uh, 30 seconds from spreading. Okay, TIG is 3815, and we'll load. Thanks a lot. And as you watch the replays of today's launch by Atlantis en route to the International Space Station, the uh, first update from the Flight Dynamics Officer indicating that the uh, firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines will occur at the 38-minute mark into the flight. About uh, 20 minutes from now, that will be uh, a firing of the uh, Ohms engines at the rear of the shuttle's uh, payload bay, uh, the two Ohms engines that flank the vertical tail fin that will increase uh, the apogee of the elliptical orbit of Atlantis, essentially another maneuver as it uh, fine-tunes its path to the International Space Station for a docking on Wednesday morning. The actual start of the rendezvous occurred at launch. Houston and all around the country, the teams did to get us airborne. It was a great afternoon. Complimentary words from Commander Charlie Hobaugh aboard Atlantis. And Atlantis, uh, we have you back after spreading. Uh, we copied your last thanks. And uh, to Butch, Randy, Bobby, uh, welcome to space. Sweet. Thanks, Fergie. Amen. Hey, Fergie, uh, we are ready for MPS ISIL, followed by GH2 inerting, and then MPS power down on time. Uh, we concur. We're ready for all of those, uh, Scorch. And also, just to clarify on the Tedris, uh, we have about 12 minutes left on this Tedris pass, and it's this pass we lost redundancy on. So, again, for the next 12 minutes or so, if we lose, you just uh, select best antenna. Okay. Copy. Thanks, Ferg. Capcom Chris Ferguson uh, welcoming Randy Bresnick, Butch Wilmore, and Bobby Satcher to space. Rookies no more following uh, their climb to orbit entering their preliminary orbit just moments ago to begin an 11-day flight that will resupply critical spare parts to the International Space Station for the post-shuttle era.
Anderson from the mid deck. Com check. We got you loud and clear on the uh, mid deck. Hi, Bobby. We got you loud and clear too. Houston Atlantis on the flight deck. Com check. And we got you loud and clear on the flight deck. This is Mission Control Houston. 25 minutes since the launch of Atlantis that you're watching the replays of from the Kennedy Space Center. The countdown uh, was uneventful and flawless, as was the climb to orbit for Commander Charlie Hobaugh, Pilot Butch Wilmore, and Mission Specialists Leland Melvin, Randy Bresnick, Mike Foreman, and Bobby Satcher as they begin uh, their two-day trek to the International Space Station. The docking schedule just before 11 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday followed uh, by the hatch opening later in the day. At the moment of hatch opening, two days from now, Nicole Stott uh, will make her official transition from an Expedition 21 flight engineer to an Atlantis mission specialist. Atlantis is her ride home after some three months in orbit. That uh, will leave five crew members on board uh, the International Space Station for a few days on December 1st, uh, the Expedition 21 crew, Roman Romanenko, Frank Dewina, and Bob Thirsk will land in Kazakhstan in their Soyuz TMA-15 vehicle, and that will leave Jeff Williams and Max Sarayev on board the station as a two-man crew for about three weeks until the launch on December 21st of the remainder of the Expedition 22 crew. That will be Oleg Kotov, T.J. Creamer and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Soichi Noguchi. We're about 11 and a half minutes away now from the firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines and what is called the Ohms II burn, essentially a burn that uh, will increase the apogee of Atlantis's elliptical orbit. This orbit uh, will be uh, refined uh, to a more circular orbit through other rendezvous maneuvers to be executed over the course of